2020, bringing a biblical perspective on life, culture and current events. Weekdays on UCB's Vision Radio Network. Find out more at vision.org.au. Well, we've been getting lots of feedback from our regular commentators and listener feedback too on what's happened overnight, the incredible events that have been going on in Canberra. So many of us taken by surprise and shocked by what happened overnight. Uh, Let's get some insights uh, from one of the smaller but emerging Christian political parties who may actually be the beneficiaries of the sort of thing that we've seen overnight. Vicky Jansen is with Australian Christians. Australian Christians is one of those political parties that is growing in strength and growing in influence. Vicky is the State Director for Australian Christians in Victoria and she's also the Senate candidate for Australian Christians for the upcoming next election. Hello Vicky Jansen, welcome along to 2020. Hello, Neil. Thank you for having me. Uh, Vicky, when it comes to what we've seen overnight, uh, this level of uh, distrust, disloyalty, betrayal, uh, so many people thinking that the Liberal Party wasn't going to do the same thing that the Labor Party did, uh, this idea of having some level of stability in leadership, it's a big challenge. Uh, what is it from the position of uh, emerging Christian political parties? How do you feel about what happened last night? Well, it, I think we're all pretty shocked just at the, the, swift, uh, the swiftness of it. Um, and, and as you say, uh, you know, we have an elected prime minister and I think people feel pretty upset that um, an elected prime minister can be removed. We've seen it before and we've, now we've seen it again and it doesn't seem to matter what side of politics. So it just seems like the major political parties are, are all husk and no substance, so to speak, um, you know, not really standing by their leaders. So, so that's very disappointing. Um, and, uh, and of course, uh, from, a, um, from our point of view, we were very supportive of the family values, Christian values, I guess, of the Prime Minister. And um, so that's a bit of a blow um, for all those people who were looking to him to hold the line and hold the party line um, on the marriage issue. Been a bit of comparison on our program today, uh, talking about uh, the differences between Tony Abbott and Malcolm Turnbull. And one of those, of course, is uh, from a faith perspective. Uh, When it comes to as your uh, role there with Australian Christians, uh, I guess the fact that Malcolm Turnbull moves into a position of leadership there in the Liberal Party and becomes the Prime Minister of Australia... Actually, for people who are interested in Christian leader candidates, uh, I guess uh, parties like Australian Christians actually see some uh, some uh, opportunities ahead. Well, that's right. I mean, actually, it's very hard to get a dedicated voice to the the Christian values that um, you know are, that a large part of the community are looking for, and um, so I think it, it does help us in a sense. But of course, uh, we just want to see it's not. Um, I think it's not just so much about us as the actual issues themselves. Uh, we heard Richard uh, Di Natale say this morning that, um, you know, we'll have gay marriage by Christmas with Malcolm Turnbull. So, of course, you know, although uh, Mr Turnbull has said there'll be a plebiscite as, as was planned, you know, though that's the kind of uh, feeling that you get out there that now, that you know, it's all going to shift and move and, and not be holding the line. Um, so, you know, even though it, it is good for us, we would hope that, that we would be influencing, um, we, you know, our goal would be to influence uh, the major parties to be firmer on these issues that are so important to the average person. You've been a, a long-time uh, exponent of support for traditional marriage. Uh, yes. Let me ask you about some things that are happening this weekend because it's marriage week this week. That's and right. uh, this weekend, there are some marriage rallies that are being planned. I, I suspect that with a new leader and uh, with a different pos- position on uh, marriage that Malcolm Turnbull holds, that it might be important for Australians to make uh, their own statement. And there's a whole bunch of marriage rallies that are on this weekend. Yes. And look, I do really think it's time for the ordinary person. You know, we don't see, if we watch, uh, you know, commercial TV, you'd be forgiven for thinking that nobody cared about um, traditional marriage. Um, we just don't don't seem to get the coverage. So I think there's a need for a public presence and people are wanting to be able to stand and make that public 
you know, have that public presence. So South Australia, Tasmania, Queensland, New South Wales, WA and Victoria, there will be um, you know, celebration of marriage and children and really the emphasis is on what this means for children. Um, that is really, the uh, I could think, the government's interest in marriage is about... Um, is, is about the role uh, that parents have uh, in, you know, their legal and so social cultural responsibility towards children. So yeah, we've got these rallies, and uh, Australian Christians are supporting these. I'm one of the speakers at the rally in Melbourne, um, but we're supporting them around the nation. We're on the organising committee supporting Unity Australia, which has really been um, an organisation that's developed or a branding that's developed to, you know, for the sole purpose of defending marriage. Okay, let's uh, just focus on those uh, marriage rallies for a moment. Uh, You Mm -hmm. mentioned those states, but we're talking about Perth, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Hobart and Adelaide, and they all start at the same time, well, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. in each of those cities. Uh, And Unity Australia is organising those, and you're encouraging uh, ordinary Aussies to get out and stand up for traditional marriage this weekend. That's right. I mean, we really want people to show, you know, if you really care about, um, you know, this is going to have a huge social impact on children in particular, but also on, you know, freedom of speech issues and belief issues and association. But, um, you know, really, if you care about this issue, now is the time to get along to um, one of those centres, depending on where you are. The In Adelaide, Hobart, Brisbane and Melbourne, the uh, two o'clock rallies will be held on uh, outside Parliament, the State Parliament. Um, in New South Wales, uh, they're meeting in Belmore Park um, at 2pm and walking to Martin Place. And in Western Australia, the meeting place is Langley Park. So, you know, we really hope to see Australians come out um, and say, look, you know, we, we want to maintain marriage as it is currently legislated. You were reflecting on what the Greens were saying about the same-sex marriage debates and about whether there might be changes to the way the plebiscite might uh, be worked out. And uh, it mm. sounds like you don't necessarily trust the new Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull, to uh, to hold to what he said he would. Well, we haven't got a lot of reason to, to trust, I don't think, which is very sad, Um He's already uh, expressed, you know, his support for same-sex marriage. Um, although he has said that he would hold the line and do the pleb- and, and go the way of a plebiscite, um, I, I just don't think we do have the trust in our politicians anymore. And this is one of the, um, you know, one of the difficult things I, I think that people just are losing uh, faith in the whole system. Um, yeah. So no, uh, it is a bit. It is worrying. Uh, well, those marriage rallies, they'll be held this Sunday in Perth, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Hobart and Adelaide. They start at 2pm in those capital cities. Uh, they're organised by Unity Australia and uh, Australian Christians, the political party, uh, supporting those rallies. Vicky Jansen, Victorian State Director and also Senate Candidate uh, with Australian Christians for the next election. Vicky, thanks so much for uh, joining us today here on 2020. Well, thank you very, very much for having us. Thank you, Neil. Like what you've just heard? There's more great podcasts. Or you can listen to us live at vision.org.au. And remember, Vision is listener-supported. Your donation of any amount will help us continue connecting faith to life. Learn more or donate today at vision.org.au.